everyone, this is Natalie here. I attended 2019's HMMT, or Harvard MIT Math Tournament. This video will hopefully give you a bit of an idea on what the competition is about. First of all, it's called the Harvard MIT Math Tournament because it is a joint event held by the two universities. There are actually technically two competitions. There's one in November, held at Harvard, and one in February, held at MIT. Supposedly, the November tournament is easier, but February's requires deeper and more specialized knowledge on the individual subject areas, which include algebra, geometry, and combinatorics. In addition, the November's team rounds consist of short answer problems, while February's team rounds are more proof-based. If you visit this website here, you can find more information on the differences between the November and the February HMMT. So now on to the November competition itself. It accepts around 120 to 150 teams, and each team consists of only six people. I traveled four hours to get to the competition, which I thought was long, but I soon realized that there are actually teams from Texas and China who flew hours. In other words, it is somewhat of an international level competition. If you want to know more about the competition itself, you can see past questions and results on this website. So now some details on the event itself. The event starts on a Friday night with registration, pizza, and ice cream at 6.30 p.m. There you can meet up with your team and have a nice meal. There is also free merchandise for the contestants from HMMT and their sponsors. Then in between 7.30 and 9, there are many mini events which you can choose to drop in on and attend, and a lot of those are really fun. You can pause the video to see some more details. I went with my team to two events which are Liar's Dice, which was a small game, and the Plank Countdown. The Plank Countdown is like the competition Math Counts' is Countdown Round, except contestants have to do planks while solving questions mentally. It's pretty intense, and the questions were fairly challenging, too. Then on Saturday, you have the actual competition. It is held across many buildings at Harvard, and there are multiple rounds, including two individual rounds, a team round, and the guts round, with lunch in between. Each individual test is 10 questions long, and you have 50 minutes to complete the test. They are extremely challenging. Looking at previous years, if you can get 5 out of 10 or more right on both rounds, then you are already part of the top 100 contestants, out of 700 to 900 or so. And every question right is an accomplishment in itself. The team round is exactly as it suggests, 60 minute, 10 problem test, where all the members of the team work together. The guts round is a bit more complicated. It is an 80 minute team event with 36 short answer questions. The problems are divided into sets of three, and you start with three questions worth five points each, then you receive three six point questions, then three seven point questions, and so on and so forth. And I believe the highest ones are worth 20 points. So at the beginning, each team sends a runner to an assigned problem station to pick up copies of the first set of problems for their team. As soon as the team has answers for one problem set, the runner may bring the answers to the problem station and pick up the next set. The results are posted in real time. In fact, the coaches and the parents can go to a lecture hall and watch the live score updates in real time, which will be shown there on a screen. And remember, it's important to space everything out and the questions get harder and harder, so it is important to try hard on the early questions and make sure that you have a high accuracy. The event ends with an award ceremony between 5.30 and 6.30 when the top scorers and teams are being announced. For more on the schedule and what to expect, you can check on this link. So I hope by now you have a better understanding of what it is like to attend the HMMT. It is exhausting, but also super exciting. It's super challenging, but it's always very fascinating to be a part of this wonderful experience. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a chance to go too.